Hey guys, welcome back to it's TV. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And we have another deal that is happening. Uh, it has happened already. It's a done deal. And that is Edu Garcia, ex, ex player of Hyderabad FC, last season Hyderabad FC team. Edu Garcia has officially joined Sergio Lobella in uh, the Chinese second tier League One team, SC Junior. So, big blow for India, especially for all the clubs who were interested in signing Edu Garcia because uh, from now he's officially a contracted player for uh, the Chinese for Sergio Lobera now and uh, his contract I think expires in two seasons so he's going to be playing there for two more years most likely now Edu Garcia was an exceptional player that we all know about if you all just know from last season itself even though it was not his best season because uh, we, we, we do remember him leaving in the middle because of family issues so uh, Last season, he had played 11 games for Hyderabad, scored two goals and gave an assist. A quality player, according to me, and uh, very good. He normally plays mostly at the left wing position, but has also played as the attacking midfielder and a right winger. At 31 years of age, uh, he is still very good for his uh, performance, which I believe he plays exceptionally well. You know, one according to me, he is one of the best players. Uh, in his place where he plays the left wing and attacking midfield position very good in the attacking department uh, very little more versatile uh, can play in both sides also now for those who uh, don't know uh, before uh, joining a different club you know, I mean before going to uh, you know China uh, Edu Garcia did play for some other Indian clubs uh, he basically played for Bangalore uh, Bangalore FC, ATK, ATK Mohun Bagan and Hyderabad okay so he has played for four clubs uh, he's most being with ATK where he played 24 games scored nine goals gave five assists okay uh, then he was for Bangalore for 14 games scored two goals five assists uh, for ATK Mohun Bagan he was not that good I'm in the sense that he wasn't uh, given that much of a chance 11 games just one goal and uh, with Hyderabad even though he played 11 games with a decent enough two uh, goals and one assist if you may also notice the time that he got to play at ATK Mohun Bagan and Hyderabad are comparatively very less but overall he's a quality player a player a force to reckon with uh, very good in the attacking department and this is Sergio Lobera's uh, I think third signing the third player from ISL that he has got okay uh, we all know about George Ortiz going uh, there Hanan Santana is also a done deal so these two players have already joined uh, the club and now uh, Edu Garcia becomes the next player to join them so with that uh, the Sergio Lobeva has currently three Spanish foreign players uh, in his squad and I'm not sure the how many players are allowed, uh, foreign players are allowed in the Chinese second league, uh, which is called League One. But according to me, I think it is uh, about four. About four players are, you know, allow four foreign players are allowed in the Chinese squad. I mean, in the squad, foreign players. So four foreign players, most likely. So it would be interesting to see who would be the fourth foreign player that they will uh, end up signing. Uh, according to me, uh, it could be another ISL player, Sergio Lobera, of course, will be eyeing for another foreign player from India who has may be played with him or uh, we can't say who else, okay? Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Sergio Lobera has been fishing a lot from uh, the Indian Super League for good quality players. Uh, he has got all these three players, that is Hanan Santana, uh, Edu, Gracia, Edu Gracia, and uh, George Ortiz on a free transfer he has not paid for the transfer and so it's uh, you know free signing so they have, they have been playing doing well uh, at the moment they have been 14 new arrivals for this club with 24 old players leaving the club so just the way Mumbai City had a huge transformation last season uh, they are it's happening again in China for Sichuan Jinio so it's going to be very interesting to see what happened. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Edu Garcia was Sergio Lobeva's 
second choice attacking midfielder that he was interested in getting the first is rumored to be Hugo Bomas so uh, he didn't get i think so Hugo Bomas so that is why he just decided to go and sign uh, you know Edu Garcia instead Edu Garcia over the le- overall is also a quality player guys tell me your thoughts about this in the comments down below it's a very interesting to see uh, new signings that are happening in the indian super league basically the old players who are leaving so now hanan santana uh, george ortiz and of course uh, Han- um, uh, edu garcia won't be available for the indian um, for playing for any other isl club for others who don't know um, mohammadan of course has done a foreign player signing it is henry kiseka who has joined their club uh, ugandan player on a free transfer from uh, bagwani po fc also an indian club uh, so he has uh, joined mohammadan for those who have not come to know about this deal uh, just informing you all uh, uh, Gonoy Quizzo has also joined uh, from, uh, he was without a club, he has joined Churchill Brothers. Uh, I'm not sure how recent the transfers are about what I'm speaking about. But as far as I can tell you all, this is what uh, transfer market is showing. So uh, I'll just report to you all about that. So these are two big deals that have happened, okay. Uh, both strikers uh, in their respective team. Uh, apart from them, uh, no other big foreign player has uh, joined. Uh, apart from going wise, uh, Marcelino has left Rajasthan United without playing a single game for them and has joined his uh, home club, not a home club as such, but his club in home in Brazil, uh, Sampiao Correa, on a free transfer. His contract with uh, Rajasthan United is over, and even though he has not played a game, uh, it was a fruitful year for him in the ISL when he was loaned to Northeast United. Uh, uh, talking about foreign players that went, Gokulam Kevlas, uh, Chisom Elvis Chikata uh, has left also for from uh, the Nigerian, has gone back to Nigeria and is currently playing for Abia Warriors uh, in Nigerian uh, Premier Football League. I'm not sure how much the deal was for, but it's an interesting signing also nevertheless. Uh, so those who love football can do subscribe to the channel for more updates. Of course, the Vasquez saga is still not over. We may not know if Vasquez may be ending up in China or not. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Should Vasquez join uh, Sergio Lobera in China or not? Tell me in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe. See all the more videos coming up in the near future. Goodbye. Take care. Stay safe.